Here we go, all gathered. Oh, we've got company. Are you going to join us? <laughs> <laughs> here we are up in the Farley Monument. Just going to do a little circle. There's Kenny and Lou. So, uh, it's a nice day. A little bit of wind, as you can hear, but uh, very pleasant conditions of running. Oh, runners out today on the roads as I was driving through. And uh, it's right coming into kind of event season if they all go ahead. So we've got the Clarendon I've just been discussing with Kenny. We're going to do the half marathon Clarendon, on which part of where we've just been running is, is set. The uh, Forest Commission, however, have withdrawn their permission for the little section through Westwood. So it's about a mile loop or about a kilometre and a half. And they've been doing this all over the country. So you've got a whole marathon that goes from, oh, from Salisbury to Winchester, tyre marathon trails. All the landowners have approved it. And then you've got Forestry Commission saying no, there's a one mile section you're allowed. And it sounds like it's a national policy they've got. Uh, I've had the same issue with the orienteering all year. Any organised group, be it I think over six people, they just do a blanket no. So, uh, a bit of a shame because there's some nice remote areas and some of them close into towns that really just suddenly become restricted. And yet, from my point of view, once you're still distancing, being out in the open is the safest place for people to exercise, to work, to do anything. And so, we're a small island and anybody restricting space, particularly, a public or pseudo public body I think is needs to be seriously thought about not just done in blanket oh yes we want no liability and no problem so we're going to blanket ban it so last weekend with the Dorset Alza there was a huge credit list of landowners and all gave permission not only that they went above and beyond actually helped clear trails the trails I think I mentioned on the video last week were just really amazing for running and really you know cleared away the nettles and the brambles and so on and they were all brilliant but the one landowner didn't give permission was the Forestry Commission again and that was for a, a small section so there was a slight divert in one place it's actually the section where I had problems coming downhill I had to go sideways that was actually diversion normally would come up that route apparently according to the organizers uh, so a bit of a shame but we're finding a way organizers are doing a great job at the moment so hopefully the marathon and half marathon of the Clarendon Way which I'm on back on now will go ahead in middle of October hi there all right, cheers. Uh, we've done 9.9 .9 at the moment. Oh, Here we come back guy. into Ham Green. So just about to run past the farm. There's uh, Kenny and Lou behind me. So as I've just shouted out, we're just coming up to 10 kilometres, 9.95. I was just telling Kenny this is where there's an aid station and it's the last but one before the end of the Clarendon Marathon and Half Marathon. And uh, Heidi normally does this with other friends and family. Uh, well, it's been good, shorter than normal, but I think after the marathon I deserved a shorter long run on a, at the weekend. It's been very pleasant being with everybody and having a long chat really, so taking it nice and easy today. Yeah, really slow but nice time. Cool.